country. A lot of challenging questions. Let's break it down with uh, NBC News election analyst Rachel Cobb. Rachel, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Now, we were warned that some of this could take some time, but is there anything that's been a big surprise to you so far as far as the results go? As far as the results go, actually, I would say there are several surprises here in 2020. But one of the big ones was the shift in Miami-Dade County of nine percentage points up for, for President Trump. I think that was unexpected and something that we will be watching in the demographic shifts taking place across the country. What about these mail-in ballots and those that still need to be counted? It seems like uh, these are expected to boost Biden's numbers more than Trump's. Why is that? That's because a lot of Democrats opted to use the mail ballot system. And President Trump had spent quite some time um, essentially deriding vote by mail, um, while Democrats were encouraging that in the time of pandemic. And so those mail ballots take longer to process. In fact, some states have rules that say you can't even start processing them until Election Day itself. That means there's a lot of paper to go through because there are millions of ballots. And then once you go through all of those processing them, then you count them. And so that entire uh, day takes quite a bit of time or actually days. <laughs> yeah, we had the uh, opportunity to put those uh, to count those ballots starting two weeks ahead of Election Day. So we had a little bit of jump on that here in Minnesota. Uh, let's talk about uh, the election itself, though. We have been uh, almost worried, if you will, at least in the media. We've been talking a lot about intimidation and things that might happen as far as meddling in this election. But that doesn't seem to be the case so far, does it? No, it really doesn't. Um, so far, I mean, I think the big story actually of this election is how smooth everything went. Um, that, that a huge turnout across the country and incredibly um, well-run polling places for the most part. And regardless of whether President Trump uh, remains in the White House or not, just because we've seen so, uh, so other races that have been so close, it kind of tells us that we're still kind of a divided country and this politics are kind of here to stay for now, doesn't it? Well, right. I mean, actually, I think one of the questions is, are we a divided country? Or are we a deeply divided country? Or are we a very close country in terms of um, the numbers? Uh, I think that going forward, it is going to be a, 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 a very tricky path for whoever is governing and trying to piece together the various coalitions that will be needed to pass legislation. Well, kudos to our country for the record amount of turnout, though. That's amazing that uh, we were able to do that. Uh, NBC News election analyst Rachel Cobb, thank for you sure. so very much. We really appreciate it.